So I have these. And I have these. And you better believe that I will be getting these. There's going to be a whole lot of Linux benchmarking happening here. And I want to show you guys exactly how to do what I'm going to be doing. So let's learn all about how to install and use Pharonix Test Suite. There are a lot of reasons why you might want to benchmark your computers. Maybe it's to easily spot the performance differences you'll see in Blender between your laptop and your desktop. Maybe you want to get a good idea of read and write speeds of your storage drives in real world scenarios. And something that's near and dear to my heart, what about automating gaming benchmarks to test various GPUs? Or here's a fun one. What about doing all of that stuff across various Linux distros and desktop environments? So in this video, I want to show you not just how powerful Pharonix Test Suite is, but how awesome things can get when you combine it with a companion website called openbenchmarking.org. Now, I want to give you a, a mild warning at the top here. There is going to be a lot of command line stuff happening, but don't let that scare you away. It's actually really, really fun. Before we get into it, I want to take a moment to thank our new sponsor, Linode. If it runs on Linux, you can run it on Linode. They have multiple distros available, including Ubuntu, CentOS, Alpine, and Arch, by the way. They've got multiple server plans to make any app or service flexible and scalable. You can use a Linode server to host a blog, to set up uh, your own personal VPN, or you can do what I did, which is fire up a dedicated Jitsi server for upcoming community interviews and hangouts. Also, Shickle is gonna be running a Minecraft server, and that is also super simple to install. Linode has 24-7, 365 support available by phone, regardless of your plan size, so you can get help from a real person if you need it. Right now, Linux for Everyone viewers can get started on Linode with a $100 credit by going to linode.com slash Linux for Everyone. Linode's been doing cloud computing since 2003, which is actually three years before Amazon entered the picture, so they're not trying to take over the retail world like other companies. Just good old-fashioned Linux-loving cloud computing. Linode.com slash Linux for everyone. And uh, again, a huge, huge thank you to Linode for sponsoring Linux for everyone. One of the great things about the Pharonix test suite is how easy it is to install, and you can run it on just about anything under the sun. The only hard requirement is that you have command line support for PHP. What's brilliant is that if you do not have the necessary packages, the software will normally prompt you to install it and give you the exact command to do so. If you're on an Ubuntu or Debian-based distro, then you just grab that deb file and install it. For every other Linux distro, and BSD, and Mac OS, the universal version does the trick. By the way, all the links you'll need are in the description for this video, including the GitHub repository, because of course, it's open source. Now, for the universal package, you simply save the compressed tar.gz file to a location of your choice. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. Once it's done, just right-click the archive and choose Extract Here. Now, launch your terminal from this location, or launch it and navigate to the extracted folder. Now, just type your sudo command for the installation, and you're done. You don't even have to install Pharonix Test Suite system-wide. You could just run Pharonix-Test-Suite from the same folder you used to install it. By the way, if you're not really a command line warrior, here's a handy tip. You can start typing the command, for example, pho, and then hit your tab key and your distribution should auto-complete that command. So the best way to get familiar with the interface and see just how much PTS can do is by typing Pharonix Test Suite Interactive. You'll get some detailed system specs first, followed by a menu. And if you wanna see all of that system spec info later on, you can just choose number four from this interactive menu or type Pharonix Test Suite System Info in a terminal window. All right, why don't we run our first benchmark? Choose number one to run a test. And you might want to give it a couple minutes to initially download and display the current collection of updated benchmarks that are available. I do a lot of gaming benchmarks, so just for fun, let's run Xenotic, which is a really cool open source arena style shooter. 
So you choose the test and then PTS will figure out what additional packages you might need to run it. These are also called dependencies. And it'll grab those plus the test itself and install everything for you. Okay, that's kind of cool, but I want more control over the settings. So let's back out and run this Xenotic benchmark again, but this time manually by typing Pharonix Test Suite Benchmark Xenotic. And by the way, any results that you see in this video, they're not really indicative of true performance because I'm also recording with OBS at 4K, so that is kind of killing a lot of the, uh, the true performance that this machine can get. Okay, that's a more realistic result, but I wonder how this compares to, for example, my System76 Oryx Pro laptop. Let's find out, and let's make it really easy to compare the results. First, register an account at openbenchmarking.org, which is also maintained by the creator of Pharonix Test Suite. Once that's done, head back to your terminal window and type this. Enter your username and password, and now the magic can really start happening, especially for those of you with multiple PCs. Now, when you run that Xenotic benchmark again, or the hundreds of other tests, you'll get the option of saving it and then uploading it to openbenchmarking.org when it's finished. Let's go back to Xenotic. I just ran it on my Oryx Pro laptop and again on the Ryzen test bench with identical settings, 1080p, ultimate quality, and then uploaded the result. Now browse over to openbenchmarking.org, log in, and click your profile name, and then you'll see a list of systems that you've used, and below that are your recent test results. Now watch this. All we have to do is check these two results and click compare, and then boom, instant graph action. You can sort these results in multiple ways too. Now on a bigger scale, this is super useful to me when comparing a couple laptops that I'm reviewing the Tuxedo Computers XA15, and the System76 Oryx Pro. Look at how insanely detailed we can get. And we don't even have to crunch any of these numbers ourselves. All right, so let's normalize the results and then refresh the page. Now I can see stuff like relative performance. So just as a general example, the uh, Tuxedo Computers XA15 laptop with its monster 16 core Ryzen CPU can handle Blender tasks more than twice as fast as the latest System76 Oryx Pro. I mean, of course it can, but it's cool to be able to visualize it like this, especially when you have results that are more nuanced. By the way, did you notice this? A similar command can be found on all openbenchmarking.org results. By entering that, Pharonix Test Suite will automatically install and run these very same tests with the exact same settings on your system and then give you the option to view the charts and save the results. But let's start really flexing this software's muscles. Let's run an entire suite of benchmarks with a single command. I usually um, handpick the tests that I want to run, but for the purpose of simplicity, let's go back to that interactive menu and choose number two, run a suite. I'm thinking I want to evaluate just the single threaded performance of these CPUs. So I'm going to type the corresponding suite number and wait for PTS to do its thing. I could also run a batch of benchmarks manually with this command and the names of each test though you'll have to know what those tests are in advance. I've learned them over time by running these various suites a bunch of times, but there is also a sortable list at openbenchmarking.org. You can also uh, sort all these tests by category or by popularity. And of course, we've got a link to that in the description of this video. Pharonix Test Suite is a massive and scalable piece of software. You can use it on your Raspberry Pi 400, or you can deploy it to an entire fleet of enterprise PCs and monitor all of it remotely. You can generate a download cache to easily transport all those installed tests to other computers, which is going to save you a lot of time and bandwidth, and there's, there's just so much more to it. And that means I can't possibly show you everything in a short video and the truth is, I'm still learning as I go. But if you're remotely interested in this stuff, I encourage you to just dive in and start playing with it. 
And before I go, let me leave you with this cool functionality, system sensors. About uh, a year ago, I wanted to monitor the power consumption of various desktop environments running on my Dell XPS 13. So I ran an assortment of disk and CPU tests on a bunch of distros with this added string. Watch this. Monitor equals sys.power. If, for example, your laptop has that sensor, you could hook that right into your benchmarking and have it spit out those tasty graphs just like this. To see what sensors your PC has, just type Pharonix Test Suite System Sensors into a terminal window. You can have the software monitor multiple system sensors too by just adding the supported system sensor command, separated by a comma. So I could rerun that last test and record system power consumption plus my CPU temperature. I just did this on my Oryx Pro and here's the result. And again, I, I was using OBS, so don't treat this result as valid. Maybe I'm geeking out over this a little bit too much, but Pharonix Test Suite is really a blast, and it's really useful in a lot of different use cases. But hey, you might even wanna just fire it up for personal curiosity. We will be using it a lot over the coming months here on the channel, so I'll try to keep the tips coming, but for now, download it, install it, use it, play with it, and enjoy your Linux journey. So until we meet again on Discord or Telegram or Mastodon or down there in the comments section, you guys take care and take care of each other.